Boop. Boop. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Yeah, we should I haven't seen any play D and D now. At yes. ten to eight. <laughs> what? We can finish. No, we got to finish the prompts. I mean, I'm still halfway through from my prompts. <laughs> you might have to recap. Right now. You are now a little bit too pleased, D. <laughs> Fuck you, remember. So yeah. your no taking is shit. How's haikus? Uh, uh, shit, but in a different way. Doesn't take notes down like pen on paper. Has some overly convoluted fucking memory mansion bullshit going on, but with <laughs> items on the shell, not with a memory so mansion. Funny. So the I items tell a story. Right, next. That totally works. <laughs> <laughs> Cyborg, thank you for the £15 tip for the D&D &D, uh, allowance. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. oh Thank you for the 10 oh, subs. Oh, my God. Good day. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Keep going. She'll cry. She'll cry. Uh, uh, my my note taking. Um, for Randall, it started off being like actual like prose. I actually wrote like proper like story for each thing. And then that turned into bullet points. And then that turned into CVOD. And timestamps. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I never looked at the VOD. Um, and then uh, I haven't actually taken any notes in the last two sessions because I sort of forgot that was a thing I needed to do. Um, <laughs> I was like, that's Randall's thing. I don't need to do that anymore. No, so you still need to do that. Um, so Thales' notes are very uh, to the point, just marking down things he thinks are important in a kind of concise way, not in a story or even chronological order. <laughs> okay, that is starkly different from uh, from the way that Randall's initially started out as, like, actual mm -hmm. writing all the way through. But I think we all knew that was never going to last. Because it lasts a long just, time. It goes a long a way through. of D&D. Don't play a lot of D&D. Jenny, you got an answer for our prompt? Um... I don't think Aura takes any notes. She might have tried to learn from uh, Randall to take better notes of things, but probably only writes a word down every once in a while when she remembers. Uh, I um, tried a lot of things. The best thing that works for me is just a tiny notepad with a bunch of little little phrases on that helps jog my memory. I've tried to do it being really organized. At the start of campaigns and the start of seasons, I'm like, I'm going to be really organized and it lasts for maybe not even that session. And then <laughs> <I'm going> away. <laughs> You'd think I, the DM, would also do some note taking. I do not do any note taking at all. Uh, occasionally, they'll be like, uh, oh, uh, I should remember this NPC's name that I've come up with on the spot and I might write that down. They'll be on that. Who's, uh, who's on physical note taking? I'm on physical notes. Jenny's just shown her notepad. I love notepad. Nope. I do for in-person games take physical notes and I color code them and highlight them. Oh. Um, but for digital games, because I'm sometimes away from my computer, I do it digitally so that I can have it with whatever device I'm on. Bingo! <laughs> Is that the bingo command? You want a bingo? Oh, yeah. Get, the bing get your bingos on. Um, you want a bingo? Get your bingos on oh. and stick them in the Discord. Bingong. Bingos is fun. Bingo. Uh, no one's redeemed anything yet, but I have a feeling that it's going to happen soon because apparently we've only done this for one session, and maybe we uh, maybe we we've made them too easy. <laughs> I generated one, and the top middle thing is barred bullshit. I feel like I have to to keep the very first one <laughs> that I got. I always get okay. a bingo, then you forget. Well, sort that out. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Bookmark it. Yeah, Make it your homepage. Uh, <laughs> you have homepages? Is that still a thing? Yeah. I have a homepage. Probably. <laughs> wow. My okay. Notion, Notion template to try and be organized. I've had no homepages in the past where it was like set your um, homepage to like the random thing on Wikipedia or something and learn yeah. something oh, that day. Yeah. Which was fun for about a week. Okay. What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to put this up so that I can see the map. I'm very organized. I had to hide so much stuff so that I could stream. Uh, and then I didn't need to have hide it because I. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Alright, here we are. Uh, playing, playing D D as we were. Back to back to that. 
So, I didn't do any... Oh wait, we, I said we were going to talk about the prompt, and then usually what I do is I introduce the prompt, then I give a recap, and then we talk about the prompt. Mm-hmm. This time, we talked about the prompt. Everything oh, went to shit. Everything went to shit. <laughs> and I, I was never, like 45 I never minutes ago, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you need a short uh, what happened in, last time. In your home games, guys, in chat, do, does the DM do a recap, or do you get a, your players to do a recap? Um, I think we should stick with tradition. For this has been the format for years. Don't go changing it now. <laughs> I just think I'd do Don't too go much changing work. the form. Um, now, last session, our players are. Uh, we started our exploration of the dungeon that is this prison in this particular case. Quite literally a dungeon. Well, yeah, literally a dungeon. Dungeon prisons. You know, they're within the same family. Uh, and. We identified that this particular prison, this extra planar prison, uh, seems to be based on some kind of subscription model, where uh, you can, as a as a some sort of wizard or a powerful magic user, uh, subscribe to have your prisoners sent and held here. And it seems like the subscription for whatever was holding a Thael here has run out. And we identified that a Thael can now walk outside of their cell. And our party can, as they were never officially imprisoned here, can explore as much as they like. The person that they came here to save, Elrond, cannot. Elrond was trapped here by a card from the deck of many things, and apparently that subscription doesn't run out. So you guys have currently been exploring, trying to find ways that you will eventually break everybody out of this prison. Well, everybody I mean by you and Elrond. What you decide to do with the other prisoners is up to you. Um, but what you have at the moment is limited resourcefulness in your new friend, as a fail cannot cast any spells with the cuffs on, even though the subscription has run out. Now, uh, what you've discovered as you've been exploring is that certain parts of the prison seem to have some sort of magical wax seal dangling from the ceiling. In a central room, there were six flaming braziers, and next to them, there were those wax seals. As you explored the rest of the chambers, you found prison-like areas where people were being held in some sort of boring existence. Some of them had to uh, have low-key torture of watching themselves relive moments where things they had awkward social encounters. Uh, Others had to sit in rooms listening to the wails of someone actually being tortured. Uh, And then you bumped into a fire giant named Drazik, who was slaving away, uh, creating a sword every day. And that sword was being used somehow by Melthos later on in that day. Melthos is the, the, the guard, the prison guard of this particular case. He is uh, a devil, uh, a red Abishai, and he is patrolling these places. But he seems like a nice enough fella. You guys aren't technically prisoners because you guys weren't imprisoned. You just showed up uh, and there's no subscription on you, so he doesn't mind you walking around the place. However, if you upset his dog, Bark Tholomew, he seems to be sending you back to your cells. That's pretty much what we found out. Um, The last thing that we described was to your north, as you can see on the map, uh, there is a room filled with kind of transparent chests and cages where you can see something liquidy is moving around on the inside. Uh, To the kind of uh, west of that, mirrored on the map, you can see a room filled with chests, chests that you've tried to interact with before, but all seem to be locked in some way. And trapped. And giga traps, yeah. What was the thing you said that you saw that something was trapped and it was liquidy on the inside? So on the right hand side, I can make sure that I ping that over here. Wow. Yeah. That area there. Uh, so that's not trapped, but it is filled. These are these are chests and cages that are filled with some kind of liquidy substance. You guys aren't close enough to fully inspect those yet. Right. I feel like I want to check the liquidy substance. No. That just... sounds odd. <laughs> no. The audio is not working to me. So. 
Well, audio's not oh, working. Something didn't work in the game. I don't know, maybe back over here. Yes, I can. Oh, Ow, my eyes. Now playing. Tense. Please. Uh, audio. There we go. I think it might have raised my anxiety having the tense D&D music happen the whole hour that I was having <laughs> technical difficulties. Mm. <laughs> I didn't pause it at all. Oh, it hasn't worked for me the whole time. I didn't even realise it was supposed to be playing. <laughs> it was, it working, was working for, for me before. I, it wasn't working for me, but I knew that it was working for Jenny because I listened to her stream for a second. Uh, I guess um, that works. Okay, it works for me now. Right, so Aiku says, I want to go investigate this liquidy substance. Please. Okay. Fantastic. Guidance. <laughs> Could you... Can I check if it's trapped first? So, you, do you want to cast a spell again? No, I just want to look. Okay, sure, absolutely. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to like push Haiku aside. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just have a look. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's, I shouldn't have rushed in there, should I? I pull back so on give the me... toddler uh, <laughs> reins. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Are we doing a like a vibe check of the room? Are we are we trying to get hands on and and give it a bit of a better inspection? Uh, well, I want to give it a general first vibe check, and then if it's the vibe right, check, give me a perception check. Oh my god! Imagine rolling a net wall and still getting a fifteen. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Well, technically, with skill checks, you don't nat one. Like you no. don't critically fail on a skill check, oh, so you still no. get a fifteen. Um, I mean, it's it's kind of like a home rule that we're like, if you get a twenty, then something great happens. But like an out, oh, you've still got a fifteen. Like that's it's a fifteen. Um, you cannot see any traps in the room. Nothing's giving you especially bad vibes, apart from you know you're in a prison that's floating in space. Uh, and just the general vibe of the whole area seems to be a little bit gross. The center hall is filled with blood and mangled corpses that have been chewed on by a hellhound, so that's not great. Um, these cages in particular don't have the same telltale signs of traps that you definitely spotted in the previous room. Right. Okay. Can I do a different check to be more hands-on then? Uh, if you want to get a little bit closer and make an investigation check, yes. Investigation checks uh, are more effective, but you are being hands-on, so if they go awry, it could be you, you spring a trap, that kind of thing. Big boom. I feel like I'm I'm right there, so we've, we've specifically been pulled out for Oro to check for traps. I feel like I'd be helping at this point. Guidance. Sure. I'm like, let me say it before Ginny rolls. So Tom can be like, you didn't say it. I'm like, come on, Jack, hurry up. You should get like a, you should get like a voice recording and just put in like a button. Yeah. yeah. That would still interrupt. The point was to not interrupt. So The button on the keyboard, you know, like the DJ, DJ. Guidance, guidance. <laughs> you get a guidance. I just need to put a GIF in chat. That's the Oprah one, <laughs> but put guidance at the bottom. <laughs> Okay, give me a, an investigation check with advantage then. Wow. Okie dokie. Going up. Uh, so, so, no, you can't see any traps, but what you can see is that these Wait. seem to be. D4. Go for the D4. Yeah. Because what if it's oh. a dress? 21. You still can't see any traps. <laughs> there are no traps. <laughs> so, I, I appreciate the, the thoroughness. That's better in DD players for you. Um, these, <laughs> so, some of these are chests made of like glass. The others are cages, also kind of lined with glass. Whatever is inside them is not pouring out. And whilst it has liquid-like characteristics, it doesn't seem to be filled with fluid. On the inside, you can see kind of faces, almost, and facial features um, that are kind of like floating around. But as they do so, there's like a trail of white that kind of follows them in this milky texture on the inside. Um, they're all cool, kind of like whirling around on the inside and bumping into one another. There must be hundreds per cage. Aura uh, says, uh, it doesn't seem to be trapped that I can see, maybe? Oh, like, not as obvious as the other room, uh, but the faces are concerning. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. What a timing. <laughs> God. 
Like the scuba. What are thing. those? I don't know, has any of you guys seen anything like this? Athael, have you seen any random faces? In uh, I will give you a... you get to choose between an, an Arcana check or a History check. Arcana. History check is to... <laughs> <laughs> is to see whether or not you've seen it before. Arcana is to see if you can get a, 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 an um, estimation yeah. of what it probably is. Yeah. We've got two Arcana people now, so the people who are actually good at Arcana can help each other instead of me <laughs> with my zero Arcana. <laughs> Uh, no, do you do remind me if, if you're proficient as you roll, please. Guidance. Uh, I am proficient. Holy mother of the Okay, already a plus four. eight, though, on his arcana. Yeah. Oh, well, we got uh, <laughs> max rolls on both of those dice. Okay, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> these are souls. Oh. These are most certainly souls. They have been trapped in some way. Um, their containment looks uh, especially well maintained uh, and definitely magic in some sort of nature. It looks like uh, these, these, these are, are being maintained by a, a skilled specialist. So someone is certainly making sure to uh, keep, them, keep them in one place, safe and sound. These are, in some places, an extremely, extremely valuable resource, and you suspect that there is, in some way, uh, uh, them, they are being used as currency. Uh, as they are definitely used as currency in the Hells. Uh, they are souls. Probably currency. Maybe how people pay for their subscriptions here. Oh. Or maybe something they make. Soul subscription. So if we let them out, would that end the subscription? Uh, do I? Your your uh, you suspect that this is like money in the bank. Like this is you know money has uh, been yeah. acquired. Um, this is more like a uh, vault. Or like their bank, maybe. Money they not really like their pay. account. Okay. No. Still feels kind of shitty, kind of scummy to have you know people's souls just locked up in a chest, especially when everyone we've seen here so far doesn't actually seem like they've done something like absolutely horrible. Like there's. Well. They might no. not be the souls of the people here. I, my soul appears to still be attached to this body. It's how... De DM question. It's how mm -hmm. devil contracts work kind of common knowledge for somebody who has, like... Maybe not for a peasant, but maybe for, like, an adventurer. No. Um, so for someone who is in any way involved in, like, a religion, especially a good-aligned religion, you'd have a very good idea of uh but from like a propaganda kind of uh viewpoint um this would be very much in Nurali's wheelhouse because Nurali was brought up hating pretty much every religion but her own um so you absolutely would have been told some shit about how every other religion trades in souls um like that kind of deal okay so I know that. Would I know that people are typically like entering into a contract willingly when it comes to devils? Would you like to roll a religion check to see? Yeah, if that I was is... gonna say I'm happy to roll for it because this has come up so many times in my tabletop experience recently that I've had to explain to people that like devils are lawful; they can't trick you into a contract. They just go to vulnerable people. Fey are the ones that will trick you into it. Mm -hmm. um, so religion, can I guidance myself. I'm gonna guidance myself. Yeah. Oh fuck, sorry. Bah roll please, thingy. Religion. Ooh. Ooh. So good at religioning. Ooh. Twenty-five. Wonderful. Uh yes, you've got a good idea, and there's there's some critical faculties have been applied. Uh you can kind of like see the bullshit that you were maybe taught when you were growing up. Um mm. and and recognize that. Uh you can see, oh, devils 
they're making exchanges. There might be something in the small print that maybe is a little bit misleading, but for the most part, devil contracts are people who have signed up for things. Um, there may be an element of manipulation, but it's not anywhere near as distinct as like a, some like a fae may use. Yeah. Um, so oftentimes, maybe the souls that have been acquired by them. It might be like some kind of banker situation where people are trading in souls that have already been acquired, uh, and they probably wouldn't have a problem with trading in souls that were acquired through nef more nefarious means and then just contracts. Because once it gets into their system, who cares where it came from? Mm -hmm. um, but their initial... I mean, obviously, devils are evil uh, in their nature. Uh, but and they're, they're lawful evil. They're, they're lawful evil, yeah. yeah. I mean, in, in general, yes, I don't like the idea of souls being imprisoned, and my knowledge on the subject is probably a little suspect, I recognize now, after everything that I've experienced, but for the most part, people willingly, if because disadvantaged or vulnerable, still willingly sign their souls away in devil contracts, so... It's... That still feels kind of dodgy to me. If they were tricked out of it, I would agree. I don't like it, but if somebody themselves makes the decision to spend the rest of their existence like that, and she gestures at the box, because something was important enough to them in life, I guess I can't tell them that they were wrong. Mm. I'm just gonna just leave them then. If, if they've, yeah. they've agreed to be in a box. Yeah, if this isn't like we release them, the subscription ends, and there's. I think it would just impede our progress and probably make some significant enemies of us for us if we mm. were to mess with them. That's true. Okay. Yeah, it is. Oh, we might as well continue having a look through then. Yeah. Back to looking for whatever it is that's going to unlock those, but it's not a key. <laughs> <laughs> there was the key on the door. Who's there not? Oh, There's a key on... On, mm -hmm. the, on the collar. But that... But your... These don't have keys, so we've got to get those off of you. I guess maybe we could try to get both of you out with them on, but something tells me that that's not going to work. Hmm. I've offered smashing them or melting them off. That's no, still on the table. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, really somehow, of your two ideas, the smashing one seems less dangerous, which is surprising, honestly. I just... <laughs> Does this count as high goose lips further down the slope of chaotic evil? <laughs> <laughs> I think kidding. you'll know. I think you'll know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> as with all the bingo things, follow your heart, but, uh, you know, not too liberal. Everything else. <laughs> <laughs> um, when we saw the key on the dog's collar, yeah. Like, how was it attached onto the collar? So it is like like a like a chain link and then a huge uh, kind of like key dangling from it in the center alongside the the name tag Bartholomew. Right. You suspect that uh, trying to interact with Bartholomew and taking the key from him would be uh, would not end well. Mm. Did <sighs> so this is a far fetched question? Did the key look <laughs> magical? <laughs> it looked fantastical in nature. It looked like it wasn't, you know, just basic bitch iron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that ruins that plan. I envision, I envision in D and D that a lot of items that are like enchanted in some way always have like little shimmers or something mm -hmm. to them, like the magic living in them. But that may not be true. I didn't see anything anywhere that looked like a special tool to open up your shackles. So really... Thanks, Tortu. Oh. What the fuck, Tortu? 
That's on my bingo card. Thank you so much. <laughs> ah. So it gives the DM a DM a D6. <laughs> it's on the bingo card. It do You're right. <laughs> Guess who added that to the bingo card? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine where it even literally says <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> there is still the room in the center that you get to uh, fully explore with the um, Iron Maiden. Oh, that's right, because we didn't get quite up next to it, did we? We just kind of saw it from far yeah. away. Hmm. I gave you a, this is what you can think about for the next week or yeah. two weeks. Let's look yeah, let's go here. look at that. Okay. I feel like we should be a little bit, uh, not sneaky necessarily, but like, you know, a little quiet because this is direct eye line of the dog. So just in case. Aware. Yeah. I will, I will walk up to the mindful uh, demure. Give me the <laughs> Iron Maiden. I fucking okay. love that meme lately of people being like, "We're gonna get the Gen Z to write our script." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those are fan. so funny. Sorry. Go on. So to the or south here, Avail and the party, um, you see one giant. Uh, Iron Maiden. It's taking it's all the way up to the ceiling. It doesn't seem to really have like a, a top to it. It kind of molds kind of into the into the rooftop, um, and you can see around the base of it that there is uh, kind of some kind of fiery hot liquid that is kind of uh, singeing the air around it, uh, and and accessible, um, otherwise not hidden. Uh, in the front of the Iron Maiden is a small. Uh, window and a small slit in the chest area. Through the slit you can see uh, a, a, a red hot light pouring out through it uh, and there is a similar light that seems to be trying to get through the window but the window is kind of like um, it's, it's obscured. Most likely it has been burned from the inside. You think that you could perhaps do something to clean it. I... Oh. oh. No, you're in front. You do what you... I want to know what uh -huh. the fail can do. Oh, I can't do anything. Annoyingly. Oh, oh yeah. You, I press digitation. I can feel that. I don't even have <laughs> press digitation. I don't even have press digitation anyway. Mm. Imagine if that was on a fucking bingo card. Jeez. <laughs> Like, uh, nearly clean it? someone or something is on my bingo card, oh, so on. I get to press digitation to fill up my bingo card. <laughs> I was like, I can't, I don't want to just do it to do the bingo card, because I also have like three squares that are about singing. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, it has to come up naturally. It has to be natural, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so surely enough, you clean away some of whatever it is that's covering this. It seems to be like almost like an ashy, uh, kind of burnt... Uh, kind of material on both sides of this of this window pane, and as it reveals itself, you see a um, kind of a, a gentleman with uh, a, a long, well trimmed and maintained beard uh, and a mustache that goes into it. Um, you can see that his hair is braided and pulled back, um, but his skin is uh, kind of like a red, brown, like dark rock. Uh, and underneath, through cracks and wrinkles on his skin, you can see underneath a, a molten heat that is peering through. What are you? Uh, hello? Oh, it is a pleasure to meet you. You are not my tormentors. No. I'm a Thale. Hello, a Thale. My name is Kin. Who are you? Why do you walk these halls so freely? Uh, I was a prisoner here, but uh, it seems my time might be up. Ah. As he speaks, you can kind of hear like a bubbling, like a popping noise as well. Like it's almost like he's like got like magma and lava like spewing forth and coming out from his mouth as he speaks. Um, it's like a rumbling noise from deep within. I am jealous. Understandable. How did your comrades come to be here? Are you all prisoners? 
I do not know. They appeared and now appear to be helping, or at least helping for now. Just visiting. How, how, how far does that help extend, adventurers? Just like, <laughs> stand to one side. <laughs> I mean, we're pretty helpful people. Do you want to, do you want to be helped, I assume? I would I want to be helped. To be helped. I, I, I just, I'm going to kind of like quietly, because I think I'm like towards the back. I'm going to quietly just be like, just remember that the people in the other room said they didn't do anything too bad. And that's why they just were adjacent to somebody wailing. And this seems like pretty bad torture. So maybe we should get some insight. I would agree. Into this is pretty bad torture. Do you know what they do to me here? Looks like they're Feels boiling like you from us. the inside out. <laughs> oh no, this is a pleasant bath. Though I oh, am no. pierced throughout, that is uh, discomforting. At least once per cycle, I am stabbed through the heart with a mithril blade. Oh, I think I've seen the sword that they're making for the next cycle. Well, quite. Does that sound like benevolent captors to you? No. Doesn't that well, seem like I'm someone who needs help? What did I you do to end up in here? Lived my life. <laughs> we all squinted. I was trying I might not know myself. a lot, but I know that that's not the whole truth. <laughs> it appears that at some point I wronged the wrong person, and here I am. Have you not wronged anybody? Have you never sought redemption? <laughs> A second chance? I actually don't think I have ever wronged anybody. You are one in a million. I've heard that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> so who did, who did you wrong then? What did you do? Oh, we're not here for stories. You don't want to hear my tale. I, instead, I extend to you an offer. Okay. You free me, and I will reward you. It is within my power as an Ifrit. With? Reward with? What would you like? I could get you out of here. I don't know what an Ifrit is. Very unlikely. You can roll yeah. a Arcana check if you'd like. Ethel, do you know what an Efreet is? Oh. Or Haiku? Oh, it's this guy the Arcana check guy now, is it? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> I just don't know if you would know what that is. Off the side, like in Toy Story 3. I don't know 3. what they know. It's understandable. I... Uh, Nurly doesn't know what an Arcana <laughs> check is. <laughs> Randall was our nose stuff guy. So she's like, our no stuff guy is gone. Maybe this guy knows stuff. <laughs> it's an audition for the party. <laughs> I could just just cross it around. And... I really like the idea that Sorry. Haiku knows exactly what it is, but now they're just going to be really stubborn. I and... okay. like to roll an arcana check as well. No, nope, don't want to do it now. <laughs> she did ask you too. Purposes. She did ask you too, but also I would like to point out that we don't know this person um, except to know that they're clearly not from this plane of existence and have gotten up to mm. some shenanigans and can cast magic. So, like, maybe they're super knowledgeable. Maybe. You don't know. You don't know this is a stranger. That makes the, that makes the betrayal even worse. <laughs> uh, I'm putting on my bingo card that Jack is sliding further into chaotic evil. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's accurate. Uh, Ethel, yes, mm -hmm. you are aware of Ifrit. Uh, you know that they are a, a type of fire elemental. You know that they are... It, it's, um... You, you are... What's your wisdom score? You know what? Doesn't need, you don't need the wisdom score for this. You are wise enough to know that... Uh, <laughs> that someone's species does not dictate their alignment, mm -hmm. uh, but that Ifriti are... Oftentimes, uh, in the in the uh, when found in the elemental plane of fire, um, oftentimes of an evil alignment, have evil actions. 
Malevolent. Ah, a fire elemental then. No! Not. Call me a fire elemental. That is very demeaning. A fire elemental is like oh. the lowest form of like oh. within that family. Uh, Fritti are definitely much higher oh, up okay. on the ranking. Um, I don't think a fire would know that. That I mean, with a twenty-four, it's that's pretty, oh, okay. it's pretty close to knowing that. <laughs> yeah, that's not, not knowing that. <laughs> no, it's not knowing it, but it's but it's like it's something that you you could fathom and you can easily kind of okay. get your head around. Oh yeah, no, that does make sense. Uh, shit. That maybe is a, a bit of a blunder. Um, in that there is certainly a hierarchy, and you're aware of the different planes of uh, elemental planes, and that those planes mm. may even, in some cases, have like sub planes, subsections of those planes, um, where like parts of elements will mix, perhaps, um, and that Afriti are pretty much fire, fire. Like there are others like Dao, where it's a bit more like fire and earth fire mixing. Earth. Mm -hmm. um, but fire are uh, free to. Uh, they are uh, akin to genies. Right. They are in the genie family. I'm sure he meant no offense. He just yes. was using words to explain it to somebody who doesn't know what that is. I appreciate that. That's nice. What am I? My calm demeanor may have slipped for a moment. I do apologize, but I am being stabbed all of the time. Forever. My apologies. So I, I appreciate your your apology. I... I do not trust the vagueness of your offer. However, it it makes me uneasy. I am not in a position to offer many goods. As you may see, I am entrapped. Speak to me. Let us do some kind of deal. You free me. I am no longer a prisoner. Apparently, if I'm outside of my cell, I get to walk around forever like you guys. That is preferable to being stabbed in the heart with a mithril blade every day. All you need to do is find that sigil and diminish it somehow. I suspect they have a brazier. Some kind of ritual rite. Snuff it. And I shall be free. And then what? Then I will leave. I will reward you. With what? Can we think on it? She's not saying that to him, she's saying that to the group. Like fully turns to like mostly Oro hmm. and Haiku. <laughs> <laughs> I don't necessarily know this other this other person yet. I mean, we don't even know what what they're in here for. Like, no, they're, but they're, they're pretty well protected. But maybe we could talk about it somewhere else, um, so that we can, you know, maybe that we should just think on it a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna walk around the corner towards the forge area in hopes that they follow. Uh, Be seeing you soon, I hope. Yes, yes, I, I, you will. I'm sure you will. Is, is everyone? Is everyone come come around the corner? Oh, I forgot to click that. I've Move actually your tokens. Done I'm, I'm, so trying sorry. To, I'm trying to work out. Definitely us two here. Yeah. Oh, yeah does it, does it fail <laughs> to consider himself part of the group yet? Yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like if Nurli turned around and spoke to the other two and then was like, let's go around the corner. After a, fo a couple of <laughs> moments pass when the three of us pass, she does like a... Are you coming? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think they just told us how to, how to, how to get you out. We just mess with the brazier and that would probably deactivate the hallway that you're in and maybe it'll get rid of the shackles maybe not but it'll at least get rid of the door probably we can see what happens yes but let's make sure we get the, the right situation mm -hmm. 
Mm. Right, it's the it's the ant sigil. <laughs> How could we get it wrong? This was the hallway that we spawned in on, right? This yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. A few questions. Uh, will the devil guy, Melfoss, know, like, be alerted that we're doing this when it happens? I reckon I could distract him. <laughs> Literally, Nurly does the kombucha girl thing where she's like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if 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 you if you trust me, sort of going off on my own, I'll I'll, I'll do my best to distract her. When you phrase it that way, it makes me less sure about it. But you know, <laughs> yeah, our tense is up and <laughs> 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 Oh, okay. But we may not have. I mean, okay. D do you really think it's unfair for us to be slightly worried when you say <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, it's come. That's come. I mean, I, if 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 maybe if you want really wants to chaperone me, then I trust you. I trust you with my life, but I I don't trust you on your own. Is that is that like a? Right. <laughs> don't trust you with yours. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's there a little go. paradoxical, but I think it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just okay. thinking, like, I'm gonna, if someone's distracting them, they have to, they can't be like next to the brazier as well, is all you know. Yeah, I, I know. And if you're going lad, to flirt but... with them, you should probably do it somewhere where we can't see. Um, <laughs> I assume that that's what you were going to do based on your earlier conversation with them, but maybe that wasn't your plan. I mean, but I'll do it, my possibilities. Who's got like a okay. fire? Resistance to fire. Um, convincing. <laughs> <laughs> I could absorb it and shoot it back. <laughs> no, no. I can wait, wait. It it, Do I have accidentally me. sexy on the bingo card? Hold on. <laughs> um, damn. Randomly crossing off the haiku is irrationally angry. I would have done that the second that haiku went, Of course you want some help. <laughs> I I did click mine no. when they did that. <laughs> um, how many sigils have we seen? Uh, you Four? have seen six. Six. six? Like, well, in... you're aware of what the other two are, but you haven't seen where they are. Uh, yeah, or that's... where they are linked to. Okay, yeah, that's what mm. I was going to be like. We've no, I know there's six symbols in the middle, but we've only seen four of them. Where do the other two See, go? I'm surprised there wasn't one in the forge. If we're, if, and, but I also don't know where the sixth would be. We're looking from a, from a, a, a geometric perspective. Mm. Does it matter? Because if we, if we put out the brazier that's connected to the hallway that your mom's um... Adderall? If, thank oh. you. Friend is in Elrond, um, and that helps both of them, but it alerts them, and in a way that makes us need to leave immediately. Then we can only do one. So maybe we just try one and see what happens. I guess we can. I don't really feel good about letting that entity go. When, oh. when Haiku says, "I don't know where the sixth sigil is." Uh, Thale inspects the cuffs like all around, looking for any sigil marks on them. You can't find any sigil marks on your cuffs. Damn. Damn. Oh, so maybe the sigils won't impact the cuffs. I still think it's worth a try just to see what happens. We can always say it was an accident, or hide, or talk our way out of it. I mean, if I distract them well enough, they may not even know. Yeah. Hmm. Where where would they be in their rounds about now? Do you know a sale? The, the big, the big guy. Oh. Is that something I would know, or is it just like occasionally the guy comes past? I'm is pretty difficult to to track here. Um, let's roll a dice.
<laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you hear footsteps behind you. <laughs> I think he's coming around now. I divided it into sections and I rolled precisely the number that you guys stood in. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, if that's the case, we've got to make a decision quick. Wait, so which way is he coming from? The right or left? From behind, yeah, he's coming from behind. So he's coming up through the um, um, blacksmith area. Oh. Maybe you stay here, Heiko, and we'll run around the other way and you can intercept them over here. Yeah. Heiko sort of like leans against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so nonchalant. Where's, where's everyone else going? <laughs> Twiddle the hair. <laughs> I think. I think. Nearly suggestion, at least, was to run around this direction and get back to this room. Okay, sure, the opposite sure, sure. way from mm. the way the devil is coming. Yeah, yeah. You guys make a break for it. Uh, haikus leaning against a, uh, a wall. Surely enough, Malthos walks past Drazik. Eyes is progress. Steps towards you. I'll bring up uh, Malthos again on the screen if you want to have a look at Malthos. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Oh, good day. Malthos, how's it going? Hard, uh, working hard or, or hardly working, huh? Oh, if you love your thing, if you love your work, it's never working ever, is it? You know what? That's true. That's very true. You're just uh, standing around. Yeah, uh, well, we was. Just thought we'd have a walk around the place, see what there is. I, honestly, I'm a, you know, we're big guys sometimes, you know, you, you need to take a bit of a break, don't you? Oh, well, that's what I've got my throne for. I'll, I'll sit down on my throne. Your throne? Oh, yeah. Is that it yours? Boy. Well, yeah, me and Bartholomew. Oh, cool. I uh, oh. kind of run shit around here. Ah, you're the, uh,. The, I'm, the, the, I'm, I'm not quite the, the biggest dog. Honcho. I'm not quite the biggest dog, but I am yay, a big dog. Yay. There's another yeah, big dog. Yeah, he's got three heads as well. For a while. Right. Now, uh, you're just taking a, a sit down. Well, I, I, it, it, it's a little difficult to get up if you sit down with so much stuff carrying around. It's why I'm sort of leaning. You know, it's just. But you've not been it, causing any trouble. No, no, just being having a look around, that's all, you know. I, uh, nothing. Oh, not, nothing at all. Amazing. Well, you keep doing you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, you, you, you keep, you keep doing you as well. I mean, you know, look at you. <laughs> Maybe, uh... Oh, no. How do you roll seduction? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for. Let's. I mean, it feels like persuasion should be involved, although yeah. I don't want to suggest that persuasion is how you convince people that you're attractive. Performance, Performance yeah. is also. would also make sense. I'm not yeah. either of those. <laughs> Just natural. Nature. Yeah, natural. In real life, you shouldn't have to persuade anybody, they should <laughs> want it. Uh. Okay, so that's a flat of 15 with absolutely no modifiers whatsoever. Do you want you my got D6? No Can I give Haiku my D6? You've got no cheeky little <laughs> whisper. <laughs> I mean, it is. It's D6s. <laughs> I'll give you my D6. Thank you. <laughs> I was thinking the persuasion was not talking somebody into it, but of being flirtatious in a way that is well received by that yeah, person. Yeah, it feels, it feels like it would be maybe just a flat charisma roll in some cases, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. I'm going to roll my d6 and subtract it from yours. Uh, <laughs> we give it a d6 who's softening me from fluent this, this devil. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Torty, thank you very much, Torty. Love ya. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I, I'll work out, but um, listen, I've got to go. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I, I was going to... Thank you. Thank you, though. See, see you later. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll be... I'll be... I'll be rest you around. The, the rest of the party. The rest of the party. What are you guys doing? <laughs> uh, I figure like we just kind of like quickly discuss it on our run over there, and it's like I can just put out the brazier with the spell. Maybe we we'll see if that works, and if not, we try to maybe mess up 
the symbol in the in that room or in the hallway or something? Just a look plan. We got kind of rushed. I can't remember what this room. This room has braziers in it, but did did they have things hanging on the ceiling? So I there remember. are six kind of uh, big metal basins um, with fire in them, coals burning the fire, um, mm -hmm. and there are so there are six of those adjacent to them, hanging from the ceiling, uh, and not directly above them, uh, are wax seals that have these sigils on them. Right. Each of them, so they're linked to one another. You could quite easily be like, oh, well, this brazier is definitely to this sigil. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking this is the one, since this is the symbol for our 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 guys' hallway. Mm -hmm. This is the one that she would put out. Just because prestigitation, you can snuff out a fire the size of a campfire. So. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to snuff that one out. That nearly on the way over was like, are we good with this plan? You're I would running like out of time. Yeah, I would like confirmation from them. I figured that we could have just had on the way over. And as long as, like, everyone has been like, yeah, then she just does it as soon as we get there. Or oh. we melt the sigils. Yeah, I thought we'd have to melt them rather than snuff them, but maybe it. I'll try putting it out, and if nothing happens, we'll melt it. Okay. Put the fire out. Uh, surely enough, you see that the fire goes out, uh, can you all position yourself where you would be? Oh, you, you hate when the DM says that. <laughs> that should be uh, that <laughs> and what order are you in? Yeah. <laughs> should be on the bingo card. I probably would have gone down here. Like, I can do it from 30 feet, but I don't. I remember okay. that this these grid wasn't exactly 5x5. Five five. Can I just get back at my cell? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, so you go, and you hear a... Oh no. And you kind of you 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 can hear a, like a like a magical thrum coming from the uh void eternity area where Eleron is. Um but you can also on second. Oh dear. Just saying, there was a suggestion from someone last time that we'll uh, just just throw that gun off the edge. <laughs> someone suggested it. Mm. Someone also yeah, suggested right. leaving the hush money there, but you know. Uh, mm. Very true. We didn't do any of that. Oh! Oh, oh God! Whoa! Wow, what a cool map! Right? That's mm. a super cool map. I love that Che and Peku do this. I was literally just telling somebody recently about their maps and how you can have like different moods for each map. This it looks like cool. the you done fucked up mood for this <laughs> map. <laughs> Although the infrared is all pixelated and blurry. It'll, it'll be all pixelated. Whilst this is all pixelated and blurry, should we have a bio break? Yeah. Sure. So you can have some time to, to load in. Wonderful. This is the you're now crashing to some planet because you Breeze just kept it afloat. <laughs> Burning through the atmosphere. No, it's I think this is what happens when the alarm goes off. <laughs> there we go, guys. Didn't Did have we it last time. My bingo card. Hey. Wow, look how crystalline oh, that that's is. That's such Perfect. a crisp, deep Ooh. Penis. Oh, a crisp penis. Sorry, everyone, you've got it flipped. You're just going to have to believe that it's actually the right way around. Oh, it doesn't count as a do good penis if it's, if it's flipped. <laughs> Right. Um, if you aren't familiar with our D and D streams, we will have a bio break. We will come back once we are done. They don't usually take very long at all. Uh, they aren't as long as other streams. They're not as. I don't know. You know what? I can't imagine there's a much shorter stream than ours. That does our bio breaks are just we pee and we come back. Uh, but there's no set time. So stretch your legs. Pity poor Jenny who's sat here patiently waiting for me to shut the fuck up. Uh, and I'll see you back in a moment. <laughs> All right, I'm going to run some ads in the meantime. Go grab a drink and a snack. Just had a what for a snack? I'll be right back. Hope this stays on.
There's a uh, piece of gammon downstairs in the slow cooker and it smells bloody gorgeous. Ooh, it's finally loaded. What a lovely map. Isn't it even for uh, isn't even isn't even been for for T Cyborg? It's for uh, like <laughs> packed lunches for the rest of the week. For the perks of living with someone who really enjoys cooking. I'm back. Oh, I didn't say it blurry for as long as I thought I would. Ooh. You want to see a weird snack? Ew. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Leave Skittles alone. Just let him be. How oh, weird. Oh no, it's backwards on thing. The gooey Skittles. Oh, they are giant gooey Skittles. Let alone. Skittles are one of the few. Gooey, gooey Skittle dears. <laughs> one of the few sweets <laughs> I'll tolerate. Oh. What, Skittles? Skittles, proper jelly babies. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, fizzy coal balls. Ooh, yeah. Those are the only three I'll... I'll... What colour fizzy coal balls? The basic, basic bitch. Brown, brown and different brown. Oh. There's... And <laughs> the chocolate, chocolate brown guy. Brown and different brown. <laughs> Lovely F. <laughs> chocolate guy at heart. Hmm. Some some might say too much. I made, Most people would say too much. I made cookies this weekend. They don't look very appetizing, but they're they're pretty good. Is that, this is my what, third is one today. <laughs> I've forgotten about them, otherwise I would have be eating them instead of this right now. What's oh. uh, what's in them? Uh, dairy Cookie. milk, chocolate chunks. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brown and different brown is how you describe soil colour. Ooey <laughs> 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 gooey skittle deers. It's perfect. Oh, okay. it's a damn good looking map though, isn't it? Tom and, uh, Tom and Doc on, on, on sort of a, a very quick topic of colour. You won't have you won't have done any of the PvP stuff in Space Spring yet, will you? Oh. Nope. you can you can create custom colour schemes like custom chapters. And all the colours are the same names as the actual paints. It's it's brilliant. Oh, oh that's cool. So you don't you don't pick red, you pick Mephiston red. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that really, really made me happy. The Munsell colour chart for soil colour. Why does that give big Bristol stool chart vibes? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. <laughs> For those of you who are not familiar, do not Google that. <laughs> well, I think you should. Have a look, have no, a I feel like people in. should should make their own mistakes. <laughs> Don't tell people what to do. It's you a... know what? They live their own lives. I, I learned my do, lesson with y'all. I strongly y recommend not to do it. <laughs> I learned my lesson with y'all when it took me a solid year to uh, to understand that when you were making wancakes jokes, what you were making was wancakes jokes. Solid year. Had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, it wasn't wank. Right. We're all back. We're filled with snacks. Mm -hmm. The gong goes. Wait, is everyone else eating? <laughs> I am usually eating, eating during D and D because this is like breakfast, lunch time, dead center for me from like eleven to two p.m. So yeah, we're very lucky that Katie has the patience to play with us on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love it here. I don't know what our D&D group would look like without you. It's crazy to think about us not having any one of our players. Hang on. True. Uh, okay. The gong goes, and as the gong goes, the atmosphere around you changes. Suddenly it's much warmer, and you can see that the floor beneath you starts to illuminate. A change has appeared in the... Oh, you don't have the things for the sigil. I'm going to have to redraw them for you. Um, oh, in the prison cell area. Um, but the most notable change for you is that the room you are in, the doorways have been closed. Or rather, are starting to close. Wait, is that is this is this just the other block of pies? Yeah, or? you guys are fine. You're, well, sorry, no, you are fine. You hear the grating of metal. Can we move out? Can we move into our room? Portcullises slowly shut behind you. Yeah. Well, I would like to run this way. Did I make it out? If I ran, you did. Right. Woo! -hoo. Uh. Oro was pretty clear that she wanted to leave the room as well. If Ethel wants to leave the room, he needs to make a dexterity check. Um, is there any, are there any other portcullises closing in this yep. section? Oh, then uh, well, no, all, only the, the portcullises in this room. Right. So all on both both ways. So there'll be no way out of this room. Yeah. Okay. Oh, then well. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. Wait, is that just dexterity or you can do acrobatics if you like? Uh yeah. I'm not proficient in acrobatics, so you scraped in. Fifteen is exactly what I needed for you to be able to go through. This would have been an interesting uh little while for you if you were trapped in there on your own. Yeah. The port colours is close. <laughs> the braziers are still in there lit apart from the one that you turned off. Um, try and put these on the right layer for you so you can see them. The gong sounds, Haiku. You can hear it sound. Mm. Melfoss can hear it sound. And it does not seem to face it. Uh, Melfoss, what, 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 what's that? Oh, it's just a change, isn't it? The change? Yeah. See you later. Wait, you you like off shift? Oh no, I'm just. It's my off. It's, I'm on break. Oh, okay. So that's all that this means, just like a rotation? Because I, I mean, I'm obviously new to this area and I'm somewhat naive. It, it does. This this does seem concerning, is all. Not when you're from hell, mate. You know what? Fair enough. I didn't look at it from that perspective. No. <laughs> Get cosy. Yeah. I mean, do you need any, any company? No. Oh, okay. No, thanks. No worries. <laughs> All right. Lord, do let it be known that I used your D6 to subtract from Taiku's seduction chance. So that I don't have to deal with the awkwardness of <laughs> Jack flirting with me. By the uh, way, as a result of this interaction, I'm definitely checking off my player finds NPC hot despite no indication of hotness being given. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's indication. The picture. <laughs> okay. No, oh, well, I guess I'll be seeing around them. Melthos, am I just happy to stay here, or should I go anywhere in particular? I just I feel very tense. I can tell that. And I'm not offering you a massage. <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't at all asking for it. I was merely asking for advice. What kind of advice do you want, mate? You're in a prison. I, I mean, that's yeah, that's flawless logic. Yeah, no, enjoy your break. Off. <laughs> Apologies for oh, keeping you. That's all right. I'll, I'll be seeing you. Yeah, I'll see you around. Um, Keep safe. He walks away to his throne. It's wall. <laughs> Are you are you watching him leave? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he, he wait, walks... wait. Is there an option to chase after him? <laughs> so the open world. No, 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 no,
He, he walks to his throne, uh, he sits down there, and he, he kind of looks like he's snoozing. He you can hate that, uh, to watch him leave, but you can love to watch him walk away. Very true. Sorry. How is he sat on the throne? Uh, he's he's man-spreading. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, ma he's man-spreading. Uh, he looks at ease. You can see that Bartholomew is uh, uh, alert. I, I, you'll I, recall the last time that you saw well, well the first time you saw Bartholomew he was sleeping and you uh, woke him up yeah uh, okay mm -hmm. I have respect for this devil uh well I mean in that case I, I should probably go and I mean I, sh I should go and try and find everyone else but if, if Bartholomew is now alert I should probably go clockwise not anti-clockwise okay then you bump into Drazek Oh, yeah. Drazik is holding a sword. It in his hand is pretty tiny. It's quite a large sword. It's at least a long sword. And he kind of walks right past you. Completely oh, ignores him. Oh, where, where are you going? You can't speak to him. <laughs> oh, God. No, I st I'm still in an attempt. But yeah, you talk to him. He completely ignores you. He just walks oh. right past you. Wait, is... The forge now or free? The forge appears to be free. With the key mold and an artificer in the room. Yeah. I'm gonna Shh. take this opportunity while I can. Okay. Go fucking forge a key. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you are going to do what? Well, I'm gonna search for any bit of metal I can. Okay. And then it's gonna be a case of melt it down point of a mold. Hopefully it cools. Fantastic. Can you roll me what do you what do you think would, would suit for this? What's your best one, Jack? <laughs> you know you know actually you know what? You know what? All things considered, you are an artificer. I mean I do have like like Tinkerer's tools on me. You've got Tinkerous Tools, you're an artificer. I'm not even going to ask you to roll for this, to be perfectly honest. I think this is a, a skill unlocked perfect opportunity for you to succeed. It doesn't, yeah. it, I don't think it even needs to necessarily, like, it, this is a, a fairly simple process for someone like yourself. Mm. There is a running forge that has just been used. It is, it's, it's set. Uh, so, surely enough, you cast the, uh, the key out of. Uh, whatever metal you find, so there just happens to be a, a bunch of iron next to you. Uh, oh, that's a ridiculous mithril. Oh, are you, are you looking for a mithril key? No, no, not specifically, but... Yeah, hey, no, the, the iron's was... the first thing I see, and it's the iron. Okay, iron it is then. Uh, and surely enough, you, you pour it, and um, the uh, metal seems to kind of cool and ha uh, harden very quickly. Like, suspiciously so. Like, magically so. Ah, gotcha. Alright, well, I'm gonna crack it out. Yep. Uh, Go enough. And, I mean, I take the key and continue my clockwise journey to try and get back to them lot, or where I eschew them lot are. Uh, well, yeah, you continue your trip. Uh, surely enough, the prisoners of Hellflix are still, you know, watching their horrible social encounters. Yeah, it's painful to watch. You see to the south uh, <laughs> a, a break in the footpath, uh, and out from there you can just about see a, a change in the tinge of the of the surrounding um, stonework. Uh, and there is a portcullis that has been closed in the doorway in front of you. You can see the braziers. Uh, and let's go back to our other party members. Where what have you guys been doing whilst uh, Haiku has done something that's, let's be honest, probably takes a little while. Uh, Have I experienced this before? The gong and the changing of the of the, yeah. of the phase. Uh, yeah, you have. Like, well, it's but it's it's something that you've not really like. It, it became like almost like a day night cycle. Mm. Um, the 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 gong has gone before, but it's been much muted. Right. Uh, it's almost like it hasn't gone off in the same sort of like volume as it were. Okay. Um, there's something more, something louder, more crisp about it this time. Uh, and in this state, you know that there is at least one other phase. I don't know. Uh, Thales also just like casually walked back into their cell just in case like something yeah. was about to happen. 
Um, what was it you just uh, said? I'm sorry, you know that there's at least one what? One of the phase. Mm. Uh, yes, this happens regularly. Below, you went back into not... your cell. Uh -oh. So your cell is that one. Oh, is that one? Okay. Yep. I've assumed it was on the left. That's understandable. <laughs> you didn't have directions when we were describing the cells. Um, and Eleron is there. What's happening? Uh, it's, Why are you back here? It's uh, complicated. Do you remember those portcullises coming down when... Uh, I don't Bases see count. a lot outside of here. Fair. What, what poor colours is? Oh, right. There are poor colours at the end of the corridor. Okay. Picturing it. Picturing it. That's it. I see it. I'm there. <laughs> That's just there. But they weren't there. They're only there now the gong has sounded. Okay. Do their shackles look different? No. Yeah. Well, we think there oh, is... Wait. Yeah, sorry. Oh. His shackles do look different. They're blue now. Oh, your shackles. Elrond, oh. see if you can step out. Okay. He steps out of the door. <laughs> you... Wee-woo, 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 wee-woo. Oh. <laughs> might cut you off completely. because uh -huh. too... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I push it I back did, in. I didn't like me doing them. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> you shove him back in. Oh, okay. Does the alarm stop going off? Yep. Oh, gotta hide. Melfrost arrives in the scene. <laughs> He's <laughs> gonna be and Wings are locked. What the fuck's going on here? Did I have time to hide after the alarm went off? Yeah. I'm I'm back camouflage under the bed like the first time. Roll me a stealth check. Your thought your past that trace has not uh still lingered. It's gone. Guidance. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I wasn't I didn't see the number at first. <laughs> oh <laughs> Neurally. A fail. <laughs> Two sides of the same coin. <laughs> <laughs> and of course I am on the losing side. <laughs> the tail side of the coin. I feel like um her like foot's totally sticking out from under the bed in just a Big really time. obvious way. Yeah. Big time. Where's Aro and a oh, haiku's on the other side of the bars? Where's Aro? Um I guess she would try and hide too. Uh it depends. Uh, okay, I'll do it. I'll I'll see if I can hide. I get a thirteen. Not great. Um, Where but, whereabouts were you trying to hide? Um, under the like bed thing that I did the same thing I did last time. Okay, so you both tried in different cells opposite here, underneath the beds. Weren't they? Oh, I thought Ethel and Eleron were opposite each other. Were they not opposite. No, they were adjacent to each other. Just, yeah. The, the cells that you guys were in were opposite. They were empty. Okay. I think they were... Eleron and Nathale were across and opposite, right? No, Eleron and Nathale were on the same side and next to one another. Oh, then how did they see each other? There are bars between the cells. Oh! That's oh. why I assumed he was across too. Because yeah. they could <laughs> see each other. I see, I see. Okay. Well, the map just doesn't... They have no privacy. <laughs> Okay, they then... could hold hands if they wished. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um... <Good. laughs> Doctor's face is so good. <laughs> uh, I want to say that because what I wanted to say was if I see Nurly is hiding really badly, then yeah. I I don't want her to be seen and then me to be found out. So I would uh, like get me and her to just stand in the middle or something like that. Okay. Well, regardless, he shows up. Both of you rolled not great on your self checks. Um, 
Uh, he's looking directly at Elrond. Oh, uh, nothing at all. Like literally nothing, bro. For real. I'm in my cell. You know how I like to be in my cell. Little cat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, I'm not usually much of a stickler for rules. Well, apart from all the time. I feel like this doesn't need to be said. Don't try to escape. You're in prison, mate. You're in prison for a reason. Probably. I don't know what it is. But stay there. All right? Anyone? I hear that alarm go off. I'm fucking coming down on you like a ton of bricks. Somewhere Haiku's like... <laughs> Haiku, at this stage, you can see him on the other side of the of the hallway because you're looking past the braziers. I'm going to sort of like shout like... Melfoss, what's, what's happening? What's going on? You! Stop it! These guys. <laughs> no, does Melfoss no point at us at any point or just at Elrond? He, he does turn around to you. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm, I'm, something's fishy. I was just scared. An alarm is usually bad, right? I thought maybe something dangerous was happening, so I was hiding. Uh, roll me at a... Okay. <laughs> I don't feel like I can surreptitiously guidance myself, so... Yeah, fucking oh, light of shit. Don't bullshit me. Ooh, can I actually, uh, can I recall something from character creation that might help me in this moment? Is it going to work on a devil? Maybe. I'm listening. <laughs> it's the gentleness of spirit where, like, I just seem so fucking naive and stupid to him, probably. That he's like, mm, <laughs> maybe she does kind of think that this was scary. Like, this is suspicious, well, but I like. I give you advantage on your role. Okay. <laughs> That's how I would interpret a devil to see it. Not like, oh, you poor little thing, but more like, oh my god, look at this mess. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know heads from tails, does she? Yeah. Oh. Does that, say, does that mean we can cross off bad bullshit? <laughs> yeah, that is, that is bad bullshit. That is bad bingo. bullshit on the bingo. Is that a bingo? Is that a, is that a line? Or a, or a full house? It's a line, I'm right? so honored to be your bingo, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> to be the final the final key in your bingo. I'm just one thing away from a bingo, but I won't say what it is. Cuz I I would be it would be too easy to elicit it. That's I'm right, sorry. You don't get any rewards yeah. from it anyway. <laughs> Grace has put it in the D&D channel. She got oh, they got a uh, cheeky inspiration usage. Someone mentions Randall, free space, haiku irrationally angry and do good penis was there. <laughs> bingo. <Hell> nice. Yeah. <laughs> So that's an advantage, right? You get to give an advantage to... You get to give an advantage out. Grace, you don't have to do that right now, but... You can have, yeah, we can have it persist if you'd like, as opposed to the D6s, which expire at the end of the game. You can have it persist. I have it written down. Do I have an inspiration? I don't, damn. Okay. <clears throat> Twelve. I got one extra point for that <laughs> very well thought out and explained argument <laughs> and I appreciate you going along with it <laughs> that one extra point that's right that uh, yeah that didn't help at all <laughs> no, <laughs> no I mean congratulations to the bingo though that's cool <laughs> hell yeah uh, that's what, what were the other things in the card that you got to fill in there listen early's just not built for lion so why she doesn't do it. Oh, you got level up on there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I also have level up on my card, but I had so many barred things. I was like, I feel like this was fade. I have to keep it. <laughs> we had cheeky inspiration usage. If we did, it was last game. I trust Grace. I trust, I trust you all to bingo the way that you're going to bingo. Again, I expect you to be honest with your bingoing. I'm not going to be the bingo police. 
I've got enough work to do. Just be honest. Don't be a dickhead. Uh, and don't <laughs> be too f- liberal with your definitions. You know, <laughs> make, use 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 your use your head. Mm-hmm. Be fair. Um, when somebody fills out a whole card, do they generate a new one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when they generate them, if they if they fill a full house, then Jenny will do a doodle for them. Joe yeah. trying to persuade her not to do. Um, <laughs> but we can do more. more There's going to be so many doodles. <laughs> Just make this doodle the same as I do doodles, which is like I'm allowed 10 minutes of drawing time and no more. That's fair. On doodles that people <laughs> redeem for me, because otherwise I'll sit for 40 minutes, minutes and draw something. Uh, also, we can keep adding stuff to the bingo card generator, like... Yeah. Can we? I assume, yeah. So if mm-hmm. you think of stuff, keep keep throwing stuff away. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe the future ones will be a little harder to get. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be increasingly niche. Yeah. I just thought of a system where, like, you have an easy bingo card, and then once you've completed that one, you level up to a medium difficulty oh. bingo card. And then you don't do that. Maybe we do a couple <laughs> well, different, different versions rewards. of the generator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now, listen here. Stop this shit. I don't know what you're doing, but if I see this guy or any of my other actual prisoners leave their cells, and I know that you're up for it, I'll find a way to put you in one myself. Now, I'm a chill guy. You're just following the rules. I was having a nice little nap then. I'm going to go back to my nap. Don't wake oh, me up. Okay. Would you like some tea to help you get back to no, sleep? I'm no sure. more of this. <laughs> Talking to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was a friendly guy before, but now I'm getting pissed. <laughs> I'd be mad if I got woken up from a nap too. Oh, uh, this I don't get many naps. Goodbye. <laughs> he walks away. <laughs> And then the other one's like, okay, um. So if I'm out of this cell, we gotta go like fast. Do you have a, like an exit strategy? No. <laughs> okay, um, so well, next yes. Time, next time I get out, we have one. Well, yeah, I, this. So his is blue and he can just walk out and nothing happens. And that's why I thought maybe since yours was blue now, it would too. Yeah, but, but I guess his, there's. A... His subscription thing ran out and mine definitely has not. Yeah, I thought maybe we turned the subscription off and that's why it turned blue, but I guess not. So you still probably can't use your magic, huh? Nothing. So I can teleport us away, but I don't think we can do it in here. So it does I seem think unlikely, we've... yeah. Yeah. I would, uh like to collect my things before we leave I assume well. that, yeah but that's like a, a nice to have mm. and this yeah. is like a need to have mm. no, need I will not leave without want. my things need <laughs> want you don't want your things? I, I, I will have a spare back at my tower and call me hmm it will still be there. You are sure? <laughs> or would you not like to take that risk? You've probably not paid your property taxes in quite a long time. Listen, I just want to be alive. That's fair. You can make a new spell book. I don't want to be fucking here anymore. It's shit. It's shit in here. Okay. Perhaps the portcullises could help us. Each section has a sigil, and always. And when we snuffed that out, these portcullises closed. Um. There is also another phase. This is only two of three. What's Perhaps the other thing? Gone again. I don't what know are what you doing, Haiku? 
Are you just watching them having a conversation across this hallway? <laughs> no, no. I was a, I was a doer. Uh, <laughs> I mean, sure. after being snubbed really by Melfoff, that hurts a little bit. Uh, I mean... There's obviously, I, I feel like they would quickly try and see if they can lift the portcullis themselves. Right. Roll me a strength check. This is mostly so that Haiku can join your conversation. I wasn't trying to interrupt you, it's more of a... That's a strength save, not a strength check. Ah. <laughs> you can take the dice. Take, take the same roll, just subtract one off it. Okay. Uh, it does not budge. Okay. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have a. I'm just gonna put my head out of here. Okay. What do I see? Uh, so these are some small windows that you can just about see out into eternity. Okay. Uh, you just see a starry, spacey sky that leads off forever and ever. Okay. Uh, to the south, however, you can see that there appears to be a small, like, uh, like a s small individual cell. Mm. It seems to be uh, separated from the other cell, the other areas. You okay. think you could maybe make that jump? <laughs> think you could maybe make that jump. There's only eternity to fall into. <laughs> if, if, would it be possible for me to? Prep a levitate spell in case for jump. In case I fuck for jump. Uh, Just cast levitate on yourself, and you can run and jump, and then you would slowly fall enough to catch yourself, unless you were like the worst no. amount short. Yeah, no, no you fall. wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't fall. If no, you're the levitate, falling, and the you cast levitate, you can carry on. Yeah, because you're because the levitate says that you slowly come to the ground. So if you were to jump, then you would at least slowly fall and keep your momentum. If That's you're when the levitate. levitate ends. Oh. Mm. When the spell ends. The target flows gently to the ground if it's still alive. Yeah. Lost. Yeah. I do also have winged boots, actually, so I'm just going to utilize them. A winged boots, as in, remind me all the winged boots, they just make you fly? Yeah. yeah. yeah they give me... Why the fuck would you not have done that? I mean, why was that not your first choice? <laughs> I don't know, I like to be picking things. I like to use levitate. <laughs> yeah, I would still just use levitate and push myself hard enough to get across. But you do what you want, whenever you want to. I'll try the jump and then use the boots if you fall into a turn suit. You'll be fine. Okay, too many ideas. Haiku jumps. <laughs> It doesn't even try and jump across; just jumps off. <laughs> like a run, like a run and jump. Well, yeah, of course. That was a <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> Too no, many Jack, options. I did the Jack with like a new character. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, actually, actually ten feet, not five feet. Um, Haiku's. But Haiku's strong. Haiku's strong. So... Mm. Okay, and Haiku's that's also fine. carrying a lot of stuff. It's true. Oh. But we don't we don't follow encumbrance rules, so it's fine. No, that's true. I, I, we, still need to, we, <laughs> we still need to retrieve the xylobone, so I'm actually slightly lighter at the moment. Oh, that's, <laughs> true, that's true. Bones famously known for being extremely heavy. Mm -hmm. Very dense. Okay. So you get the Not at all for us. You do successfully make the jump. Your strength sky strength score is high enough that you just do it. We don't have to roll anything for it. Thank God. Alright. Uh, <laughs> so you make it to the other no. side of here, uh, and Inside uh, this cell to your south, just now, I'm picking up the light there. Yeah. Um, to your southeast, uh, you can see two things. Uh, well, three things actually. First is you can see above the door a wax seal. Oh. <gasps> uh, it looks like this. It's the spooky stigma. Uh, and you can also see uh, Nugget. Nugget is inside this cell. That's when I. Wait, summer child. Fancy seeing you here, Nugget. <laughs> well, looks up. And he like gives you a little head nod. 
I, I and then like moves up to the bars. <laughs> I kind of give like a like a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, I get the reaction. He climbs onto the onto the bars and turns himself upside down. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, my task is now to get Nugget out of that cell. You can see a third thing hanging from the back wall on a set of chains. Uh, looks like a uh, like a sports whistle. Not like a sports whistle, sorry. Like a like a like a well, like a longer whistle, like a tube whistle. Tube whistle. Okay. And that's within the cell. Inside the cell, yeah. And it's a whistle. Uh, could I cast Mage Hand and try and sort of bring it over? Uh. You can cast a spell, and you can see that it starts to tug at it, but it's uh, attached to the chains. As you do so, you can see that the uh, the magical field that's at the cell door starts to like warp and web underneath your and do the, the you casting spells through it, mm. uh, and it jarringly vibrates before it kind of like solidifies, and your spell cancels. Okay. Uh, does Nugget have a you know the handcuff things. Nope. Jackals. Okay. So I can't cast the spell. I can use all the druid spells. Through there. <laughs> Wait. I think the doors weren't locked though, right? Usually you could just walk through them. Like we didn't have to unlock the cell doors. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not there. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm I'm, I'm uh, note taker reminding that that's an option. That the did, door might fair, just not be locked. Just come to my brain like, wait, we walked out with most of these places. Okay. <laughs> I want to try to open the door. Okay. Uh, the door does not open. There is a bit of a problem, though, because there is a, a five-foot gap between you and the door uh, through another kind of metal door in front of you, a great portcullis almost door. Uh, that will open. Okay. And we're going to assume that's the one I tried to open. Sure, that one opens. Not, not just stepping... <laughs> yeah, not, not just stepping into nothingness. <laughs> I step into the void. <laughs> it does appear to be rock beneath you. Wait, so it's not. So you're saying it's not possible for me to check the other door because of the gap? Yeah. So could I not use my telekinetic power to check the door? You could absolutely try, yeah. I'd like to do that then. It does not work. The magic is now held completely at bay by this okay. field. Okay. Uh. Hmm. You have a quarter staff. Try to push it open. <laughs> Found a stick on the ground, and now I'm gonna use it. I would. I would. Have you tried stepping on the nothingness? See if there's something there. Get out of my head. Like Invisible bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're so used to being able to solve problems together that it's really <laughs> tough to just sit back and watch one person have to go through something by themselves. Uh, I'll, stop. I, I'll stop. I am going to attempt to blink into the cell. <laughs> That's not how blink works. <laughs> You're That's thinking of misty blink steps. You blink, blink just, blink just you, you appear you, randomly, don't you? No, Blink, Blink you go into you... the ethereal plane. Yeah. And then uh, return to an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see within 10 feet of the space that you vanish from. Oh. oh. Let's, uh, let's do that then. Yeah. You so you're going to cast Blink? I'm going to cast Blink. And nothing happens. Please burn that spell slot. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have on your back? Wait, wait. So, so. <laughs> So you cast the spell, and the spell goes off perfectly, as you might imagine. Um, but at the very, very end of the spell, you kind of feel like there is some sort of resistance uh, against your ability to cast magic that would otherwise remove you from this plane, alter your material nature, uh, or allow you to teleport. Okay. Now we were told there were no te there was no teleportation inside of this place before we got here. All right, yeah, yeah, shit. Uh, so, all right, I'm gonna keep going through my list of things. Could <laughs> I frog, stick frog lamp. the immovable rod <laughs> like onto the side of the gap as if it's sticking out like some kind of small pole, balance on that, and shut the door? 
<laughs> I'd like you to use. Uh, I'd like an acrobatics check, please. Oh, not as a step. Not that way on as a step in the middle. No, no. A small pole sticking out. You have to tightrope walk down. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, okay, so Haiku, you fall. Uh, fortunately for you, it is not too far to fall. Okay. Uh, you fall at 10 feet uh, onto molten hot rock. Uh, so you. Remember take... when Haiku nearly died in soup? Is that fire damage? <laughs> it is fire damage, so it is, re it is reduced. Well, no, uh, it's completely neg negated. You have resistance, not immunity. No, no, I'm pretty sure there was some... we extended it. Well, oh. I remember Let, doing um, that. Uh, uh, <laughs> it sounds like maybe you did, but so I So, while the tattoo is on your skin, you have resistance to it, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's half damage. Uh, when you take damage of a chosen type, you can use your reaction to gain immunity against that instant of damage, and yeah. you regain a number of hit points equal to half the yes. damage. Yes, so you, you can do it. that. You haven't told me that you're doing that, but you can do that. I'm doing that. Okay. <laughs> so you take no damage to begin with, as you immediately react to the extremely hot rock beneath your feet. Yeah. Then what do you do? Well, how much damage would I have taken so I can heal? Are you not full health? No. You would have taken seven points of fire damage. All right, well, he's going to max health, lovely. Acting uh, like it's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to. It's confidence is the key. So where am I now in relation to Nugget Cell Door? Uh, so you are here between the two underneath. <laughs> oh, okay. So it wasn't a fall into the void. Right. No. No, otherwise uh, you'd be fucked. <laughs> you'd be well and truly fucked. Uh, is climbing a thing? Yeah, climbing's a thing. I don't think I've ever climbed. No, I mean, you guys fly and stuff, so there's not a lot of climbing to be done to. by you guys. That's true, let's climb, let's climb out. Well, let's okay. try to climb out. Sure, I would like you to do a, um athletics check with disadvantage because your shell is filled to the brim with loads of shit. Sure enough, you actually manage it. Yeah, yeah, you get up there. You big, climb up the wall. Big fucking tall there. And you use your uh, your <laughs> immovable rod as a as a hold as well as you leverage yourself up. And you mm. pull yourself up onto the high ground. Right. Am I now within like distance to first try the door and then second try it awfully? It would you would be doing the exact same process that you've just done. So another acrobatics check. Get just about least. Yeah. So how did your party member die? Well, they kept hey, three slipping. again. <laughs> they kept slipping, falling onto <laughs> molten lava over and over again. When they could just activate their boots of flying. <laughs> <laughs> this is proof that Haiku would not survive by themselves when they need. <laughs> Do you remember when I just, just like diddle -do, diddle -do, rewind yeah. back to I trust you with my life, but I don't trust you on your own. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> there is uh, a reason. That is, uh, that's going in the highlight reel. Uh, <laughs> I don't trust you with your life. <laughs> I'm going to try the exact same thing again. All right, so you oh, take Tom, I, I don't points suppose, of damage. I don't suppose the day changed during my high test, did it? <laughs> no, it did not. No. You the take six, what six, is a day six this points roll? of damage because you have resistance against fire. Okay, thank you. Uh, You're still one hit point up. I still one hit point up. <laughs> you got six. Still winning. Six in in game <laughs> seconds until you take more damage. So can I just can I just double 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 check why why did I fall off there? Can you just sort of describe it? Because you were trying to use the uh, the um, immovable rod as a way to balance yourself so that you could forcefully try the door. Oh, sorry. I thought I climbed up on the door side, not the rod side. I don't think there is anywhere to stand on. There's the, nowhere to stand on, on that side. side. I think the oh. door side is disconnected. Yeah, Got it's disconnected. You. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. I'll get out my fucking fourth ballista and shoot the door. <laughs> okay, let's let's rewind. Oh, a we need a bit, flow then. chart of high <laughs> problem solving. <laughs> let's rewind. Let's rewind a little bit. <laughs> a move <beautiful> rod. <laughs> I don't no, want to rewind some. It's levitate. Stuff. It's levitate at the top. It's oh yeah, levitate. Sorry. Telekinesis. 
<laughs> Explosions. <Yeah>. Mage hands. <laughs> I shoot it. I blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> I stand by my decision. I feel. Right, let's let's rewind a little bit. You Ooh. you didn't mean to suggest that you were going to balance on the rod again. You fell down, but you didn't. That wasn't supposed to happen because that you never actually suggested that. Is oh, that fair? I mean, it's what Haiku intends to do and what Haiku does are different things. Tom, I'm, I'm happy. You know with, what? With you're right. We said there would be more consequences. Yeah. And here's a consequence for not understanding. You're yeah. going to take six points of fire damage, and you have to climb up again. So another athletics check with disadvantage, please. <sighs> Oh, hey, you could use hey, your chat, there's some d6s available. Just you take, to, uh... you t you take <laughs> 10 points of fire damage. Just, just anyone in chat. Anyone anyone around? That's, that's, that's already halved. That's already halved. Okay. <laughs> I think he's panicking at this point. I'm going to be honest, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the oh. image of Nugget just being in a in a cell looking at Heiko. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> I need to get off this I need to get off this magma Tom. Yes, you do, bud. I'm climbing again. <laughs> you got boots. Please, please, Jack. I beg you, just use the boots of flying. You <laughs> worse. More and more panic. No, Nugget can fly you if you, you run out of time. Five points of fire damage. That's halved. All right. Uh, so, in in thought of the the pure agony that has been Haiku's existence <laughs> in the last twelve seconds, uh, they pull out a piece of information from their brain and cast levitate on themselves. It's back at the top of the flowchart. New problem. <laughs> okay, you're now slightly hovering. Can, can I remain there and, and sort of hear what these lot do in their, their next little bit? <laughs> I mean, if you want me to keep going, I'll happily keep, like, like you know, in, insta think not thinking through stuff. I am more than happy to continue doing that. I'm taking the liberty to check off Haiku slips further down the slope yeah. of chaos. <laughs> I, I the fly game and giving Tom D6s? What is your problem? I'm oh, happy with this Oh, no, Charlie! <laughs> He six is now that Bingo has existed. Thanks so much, Lyle. I really appreciate that. Jesus. So, what are you guys doing? You guys are having a nice little chat. We're like hearing bloops of someone landing in no, lava. A gunshot. Absolutely nothing. No, <laughs> you're not hearing anything. No gunshot has gone off yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no gunshot. God, the I I just want to say ahead of time that whenever we do get to the juncture where Aiku tries to shoot the door, <laughs> at least Neroli and Oro know exactly what Aiku's <laughs> ballista sounds like, and they're going to be like, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I God. Like, I just like to remember when that started off with me saying I jump and everyone assuming it was just off the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is reminiscent of the I shoot myself. <laughs> yeah. oh. No, not me, the character myself. Okay, I would okay. like to um, ha walk over here. That was the first as... time, by the way, in our, any of our games, as one of our party members gone. Can we go to the other group, please? <laughs> <laughs> please I felt like I was just digging a hole. <laughs> It's just getting worse and worse. Please, can we go to someone else? If you just said no, I'd, I'd, I'd have died there. That would mean. It still might happen. Uh, right. Naiku is a very different definition of somebody who's so fucking smart and just absolutely lacks it sometimes. I love it. I'm so good. It's intelligent, oh, so... but not wise. Yes, exactly. Oh my wisdom, god. Wisdom is, is, le is learning to try something different. <laughs> yeah, I'm. <laughs> I am so fucking tickled. I'm laughing so hard. I would like to look and see what's on this. Okay. From th from uh, the distance. So from where you are, it, you can just about see across there. Can you give me a perception check? Yeah, absolutely. Can I help? I'm trying to put myself in a more centered way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I? Help? You could. You sure, could help, yes. or or I could be like Oro. What do you see over there? And I could help Oro. Okay. Uh, there we go. Take, Can you take, describe take, to me take. how you're helping? I'm really interested to know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm out of ideas, and I walk over and I'm like, I don't think we've been over there. And I'm like, Oro, 
<laughs> no, 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 Your Nuri's, eyes are better than mine. It's Nuri's hand here. Yeah, <laughs> it's just focusing. Literally going like that. Nuri used Tauro instead to help. <laughs> well, I was thinking like she's like looking over and she's just like. Do you it's think more, there's anything support. interesting over it's there? More, it's good vibes. Yeah. 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 That's, that, that's saying, it's like that's the talking saying, through it. Can you look? Is that yeah. helping? I don't know if that's helping. I think that's just inspiring someone else to do something. <laughs> maybe maybe um, you manually I, zoom and just sort of move Oro's head yeah, close Oro <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> just give them a higher <laughs> yeah. higher vantage point. What do you see? <laughs> Showing Oro things Oro has never seen before. <laughs> oh, fast. Um, I think of the oh. help the, the help action in this way as her like describing what she can see yep. and asking if that's like, do you see anything more interesting over there? Okay. Like, mm -hmm. pointing her in the right direction. Sure, pointing sure. them in the right direction. Okay, so you can see uh, that there appears to be a another wax seal above above a, a door frame. There is no door. Um, and if I... Uh, that is this seal here. Uh, and there is no um, uh, there's no door, but there is a portcullis, uh, and there appears to be a key on a pedestal, a large key. Oh, you got an Indiana Jones that. <laughs> but Haiku has the key, the mold of the key. Is it the same key that we saw the mold of? Uh, you would say it's similar shape. <laughs> a key shape. <laughs> like <it's> highly <laughs> upsetting. I mean, I always think of the keys in, in the fantasy being like the big old like iron keys, so they have a distinct shape to them. Yeah, because, they, have a, they have a distinct yeah. shape to them. You would say that this is a, uh, a similar but distinct shape. Ooh. They are different. Mm -hmm. Different do, key. Oro, do you think if we just take that, an alarm will go off again? Probably, huh? <sighs> Yeah, probs. When the alarm went off, what, was it like a... It wasn't a gong, was it? It was different from the gong. It was like a... Yeah. Right. It was a wee-woo, but I couldn't do it because mm -hmm. my microphone wouldn't pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wee! It won't, it won't pick up for KT either. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a wee. Wee-woo! Wee-woo! <laughs> there you go. Um, do we see Haiku from here? Or is the... You do not see Haiku here. Oh, Damn! Smoke on the horizon. The <laughs> There's a building in the world. We've already Nugget as a witness. Just <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? Can we smell burning turtle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid not. Okay. I'm singed. Uh, oh, do you think that if this is uh, Mel... Boss is break time. That maybe the traps are gone from the belongings chests. Maybe we could go look, or maybe we should get this key. I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss here. I was hoping that I would just kind of see like a key ring with stuff that was obvious, but I don't really know what to do. She's not bright. <laughs> she being nearly. Yeah, Oro is also not bright. Um, Oro starts talking. And she's talking at a, a normal tone. And Jenny is wondering whether Nugget may hear her because of Nugget's uh, keen hearing. Okay. Roll a... Uh, roll a perception check for Nugget. Okay. Uh, it'll come up as me because I can't bother to change. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a high uh, DC. No, Nugget's too distracted by what's happening in front of her. Yeah, Nugget is well and distracted. <laughs> cat, t cat, take their eyes off her. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too bad to be true. <laughs> Can't take it's, my eyes off it's like you. Like people slow down passing a car crash. Oh dear. <laughs> Jesus. Um, the, all of... Wait, I'm going to draw so you know what I'm talking about here. Mm -hmm. All of this is bad, right? Like, this isn't yeah, a... Yeah, all that rock, all that rock is bad, don't stand on rock. Right, so it would mm -hmm. it would be go here and then get to here. Would be the way, not... No other path. 
sort of thing. I'm sorry, I was looking at your stream and not the uh, the drawing, which is delayed. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you 30 seconds to catch up with that. Doodle. <laughs> Um, is Oro talking about this out loud? Yeah, she's going, okay, well, if we wanted to go over there, um, we'd have to jump from that platform to there. Don't scout. <laughs> have we established whether or not I can carry Oro when I'm flying? Nope. Because if I can pick up Oro, could I fly with Oro? Yeah. What if Our I just... Speed. But if I just flew you over there, I think I'd I'd be a little slow, but I'm no nugget, but that way is you don't have to- Is still in his cell? Are you involved yeah. in this conversation? <laughs> yeah, we realized- I, I think we realized that Ithael's not there, we're like, Ithael? Hey, hey, <laughs> uh, you okay, dude? I don't want to set the alarm off now that I'm in here again. Oh. But your subscription mm. ended, right? Yes, supposedly. But I mean, you could try just different. putting your hands up to the wall and see if you feel that resistance. Or you can stay in there. It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> there is no resistance to your balance. All right. I'll cautiously step out. Yep, yeah, you step out with no problems. Okay. I <sighs> don't think I will return to there. Yeah, I understand why you did, though. That was very smart. Because obviously if you were missing, then... Hmm. Probably would have gone poorly. We're thinking we might take that key. Yeah, Thayla, so what do you think? There's a key over there. You see that key? Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. Why have you not already? Well, we were just, oh, we were just figuring out the best way to do it, yeah. Yeah, oh. like we just saw it, like just now. <laughs> Your plans always fucking asshole. <laughs> this in depth. I mean, we've been in this prison way less time than you have, that but is... yes. But you had a small view of a room, and we're just kind of learning things too. Do I know that? Because it got hotter when this started, yeah. right? You did, you did ask, what's the next phase? And we yeah. got distracted by the stuff. Uh, it is significantly cooler. Yeah. And then there's like the other phase, which is just normal. Yeah. What we start then. Mm -hmm. uh, we could try and change the phase. This is hot, but it is cold next. And then the one you arrived in. Oh. Then it may be safer. I wouldn't want to touch that. It'd probably burn. Just hearing off in the distance. <laughs> of Haiku in the lava. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> okay. What? I'm back. Are you saying that, that because of the stream no. buffering or because of the call? I was gone for a second. Yeah, oh, I was gone you were not gone for us oh. at all. No one gone. was gone for me at all. So no. it was just a bunch of you going hello and I'm like... What? Well, I'm going hello to Tom. <laughs> I can hear everyone. Oh, oh okay. mine died too. The, everyone the froze for me. Dead. And the stream died. It should be back up now. Maybe it was it our back, yeah. Maybe it was an us problem. Yeah, it was that. Uh, it must have been our internet. If both yeah. of us walked. My goodness. So many technical difficulties today. Okay, yeah, I was going to say a new bingo card entry <laughs> is technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So many did we put that in there? Damn. This must be a record for firsts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been like four, four firsts just from Cyborgers. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to do it again and I forgot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you said that the key is on the thing over there and that there's a portcullis for that too. Are these walls yeah. solid or is the portcullis just over the stairs? The walls are solid. Okay, so here's the thing. I can fly you over there, I'm pretty sure. And I don't I don't want you jumping from here to over there because that, and she points down into the void, looks like a void. Um... I and I, you know, I just don't think that that's safe. 
Um, but also, I can only do it for a short time, and that door is closed. So maybe we should switch the phase just to see if the door opens. Yeah. But I kind of like that this yeah. phase is is the guard's break phase. So maybe... maybe... There is a home time phase. <laughs> maybe. maybe he goes to bed for the night. Maybe. Okay. I do not know if there is a night here, but perhaps. Yeah, there wasn't one in the Feywild either. Um, do you, yeah. oh, we're going to have to guess which brazier to put out to go to the next phase you're thinking of, though, right? Or we ring the gong. Oh. I think maybe it is the, the gong that changes the phase. Or at least one way. We could try that. Okay. I also just kind of want to see if it sounds the same when I ring it. All right, well, let's do that and see what happens. Okay. We're all going off and we ring the gong? Mm-hmm. Okay. Gong. Surely enough, the phase changes. And I'm really glad that we did it in this order because Haiku got the take loads of damage, finally saved themselves, and then... <laughs> We move to the next phase. <laughs> Let me just pop you down in here. Make sure you're in the right place. I'm just um, picturing Haiku climbing up and putting... <laughs> putting, <laughs> putting the immovable rod slightly further out and leaning further and further each time to try to get to the door. <laughs> and then giving up and shooting it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not even that far. You can just fall and then grab it. <laughs> Wait, fall and grab what? Oh, my feet is quite <laughs> just like, like fall. I could stick to yeah. your toe, right? Yeah. Just like fall yeah. and grab it and then yeah. scuttle back you, to your toes. You actually could, because your arms are going to be like another three feet long almost. <laughs> then, I'm, then, I'm, then I'm just stuck there, like. You could just <laughs> lean Not forward. Skill to get out of it. <laughs> no, no, no. You put, you put the rod across you and just like fall forward and then click it when you're just leaning forward with your feet still on the ground, yeah. and then you would just oh, yeah. be able to open the door. Sorry, I shouldn't be giving you ideas. Okay, what's what's going on with the place now? <laughs> so, all of the molten rock is cooled. Ooh, wow. Haiku, the ground beneath you hardens uh, and no I'm longer... I'm it it hardens around me. You're is levitating, so you are very slightly just above the ground that was previously hurting you immensely, and now it doesn't hurt you at all, but now you've, you're you levitating. Uh. <laughs> uh. This is an average day for Haiku. Mm. Oh, wait, is it my turn? Sorry. Yep, we're doing new stuff now. Uh, well. <laughs> How are you going to hurt yourself this time? <laughs> Shoot myself with a foot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was out loud, not me. Play your role then. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Uh, so I'm now levitating, so I'm going to so carefully just sort of like move myself up, but it's not a climb because I'm levitating. Yeah, that's no problem. Can I put a door if I'm levitating? I'm going to try. You can try. It does not open. Sex. <laughs> There's a big sigil right above it, the big wax seal. What can I do? Is there fucking portcullis? Is there? Oh. This isn't a portcullis, this is just a cell door. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is over here like, ah! <laughs> can we have the uh, sigils on this layer, please? Sure. So there's one over here. There's one over here. There's one over here. There's one over here. One over here. And one over here. Tap. So could I, like, levitate, scooch myself over to the braziers and kick that one over? Would you like to? Yes. Okay. So you... 
push yourself around using levitate. Uh, yeah. Find yourself going through hell flicks, uh, where you can see the sigil hanging above the uh, doorway there. You find yourself into the brazier room, uh, and surely enough, there is a sigma, a horny sigma uh, brazier in there, and you kick it. Okay. You kick it, the brazier knocks over, the sigil, uh, the, the fire goes out. Um, you hear a thumbing noise from elsewhere, and you also hear a gong. Oh, <laughs> now the three, the phases are going so quickly, Melfast is like. <laughs> it's going to be some kind of alignment issue where we have to kick the right number of braziers and hit the right number of gongs to get the back. A phase to align. So we're in the like... water temple, is what you're saying, of any Zelda game. No, it's much cooler. The is mod I know, I'm kidding. Actually, it's much warmer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pop you guys over there. We'll just right, do it randomly and hope that you happen upon the solution. That's always the starting point. Mm. Yeah. Actually, how I handled the water temple in Ocarina of Time. Which just kind of went into rooms and was like, have I been in here before? Yep, shit. Okay, <laughs> where else is there a room to go into? <laughs> so can I now scooch my way back? Okay. Yeah, scooch your way all the way back. Scooching. Scooching. Are you going to run out of levitate soon-ish? Uh, yeah, how long have it left? It's ten minutes. Ten minutes concentration. So you've got, yeah. you got time. It's not It's not impending, it's, it's yeah, eventual. All right. Um, uh, so, Pushing the door opens it. After all that, it was a pull. <laughs> nugget, yeah. was, nugget was on the door, so as it's you pushed it, door. it like... It, <laughs> uh, and he like flaps, climbs around the wall a little bit, immediately kind of like uh, like it lunges at you as like a like a excitement sort of thing. Can we just double check? What's the intelligence of Nugget? Um, I'll look. Oh, no. I don't have high oh. hopes, but uh, I'll look. What's... what's uh... What's their wisdom as well? Um, Levitate okay. with a large amount of momentum just applied. <laughs> They've got minus four to their intelligence, but their one wisdom. Fantastic. Uh, That's more wisdom uh, than me. They, they dive at you and they, an excited uh, kind of like, oh, I've been freed, wonderful, woo uh, And knock you immediately back into the uh, into the previous area. Um, as it kind of like holds you, grabs onto you like an excited thing and you kind of like float around. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He okay. looks confused. I mean, <laughs> he I, looks worried. I appreciate that you're okay, but <laughs> this is this is not. I look down. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like flaps and 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 writes himself. I just love in my in my head. I have the mental image of like. Have you ever seen the videos of like dogs being picked up from daycare? And they're like chilling, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, that's Nugget right now. Like, I was just in my room, and now you've come and saved me. Thank you. <laughs> right. I mean, I can't really communicate. Like, I can't really communicate with Nugget. I mean, you can I'm try. Like, I'm going to like exaggerate anything. Like, like, are you okay? He kind of blankly stares at you and <sighs> just waits patiently. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll sort of grab him by the wing and just sort of move him along with me as I as I, as I levit levitate back. Is there anything cool. anything you're missing? Anything? No, nope, we're we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, uh, same thoughts. We <laughs> we continue on with. What are you guys doing? Yeah, everything. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. It's us now. You, know? you can think about it when you... It's back in <laughs> so I phase... had all that time to think about it beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> so the notes. gong goes, uh, the phase changes, and let's say that you guys are still in the cooling phase for a, for a moment before it changes back to this phase. Hmm. In the cooling phase, is there anything, a, a, a particular area you'd like to explore? And I can describe it to you. I would like to look back and see if the portcullis here was lifted. Was. I probably would have suggested to head back that way then. But anyone else can look around whatever they want, because that's going to go away soon anyway. 
<laughs> yeah, let's maybe not, not suggest that because it's uh, already unfortunately happened and that would really fuck with, uh, with time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, or we would get trapped behind a portcullis in a tiny room off to possibly. the side. God, yeah. Um, funny. Maybe, maybe we go and we look and just see about the chest room and see if anything has changed. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Or the magma man. Magma man. Okay. So which one do you want to go see? Well, we'll look up at the chests and be like, anything changed? Uh, currently, Melthos is at the chests oh. uh, <laughs> and appears to be opening one of them. <laughs> Manual zoom. <laughs> Manual zoom does this, and then the camera pans out, and Oro stood directly behind me. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> yeah, he opens up a chest. Uh, in it, you can see your cloak. Oh, uh, delves into it, grabs a sword out of it. The sword that you can tell was being worked on by Drazik earlier. Oh. That's not my soul. Closes the chest and then walks towards Kin. I run and hide around the corner. I see. Oh. I... We're in the cold mode, right? Yeah, you're currently in cold mode. Uh, I wonder if the sword only works when our freet friend is more solidified. That makes sense. But more importantly, it looks like those those chests can open. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we are back. Phase one. Nurley pulls out like her prayer book and flips to like a page and is like chests in cold mode. <laughs> cold phase. <laughs> I'm writing it in my actual notes too. <laughs> is is there like a different magical feel or anything in this mode? Because the other two are kind of obviously a, a different what? Sorry? Well, the other two are like obviously hot and cold so yeah. I was like wondering if this one is like arcane or right or okay. like 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 they seem to have themes or purposes one like the the molten one is like a lockdown mm. the frosty one is for the a free and this one opens all the doors Are you asking me i don't know I don't know what I'm asking anymore. I want to know, is it like, does it feel extra arcane like and magical? me giving you quite a lot of extra information it, that you it, haven't done anything for. <laughs> is it, I want to, I, does it feel like extra arcane? Does it feel like there's more like magical fields the energy stuff now? No, it does not. Okay. Um, no. But the eyebrows well. say... <laughs> <laughs> if I uh, peek down the hallway, mm -hmm. is this portcullis open or closed? Uh, down here. That portcullis seems to be linked to a uh, sigil. You can see the big waxy seal above it. Okay, so that portcullis is also in cold face. Should we find your friend? You seem reluctant earlier to let them go on their own. Yeah. Sure, it has been a while. Maybe we should go see what's going on. Are the portcullises in this middle room back up now? They are, yeah. So as you guys get to this hallway and start walking towards the braziers, uh, you bump into Haiku and Nugget. 
or rather Nugget bumps into Oro at high velocity uh, <laughs> as they fly at tremendous speed down the corridor as you guys first see each other and then Nugget barrels down the corridor, uh, kind of zigzagging through the braziers and then just colliding with Oro uh, in, a, in, a, in a very um, high velocity hug. Uh, that takes you kind of slamming into the into the stones beneath you, but in a cut, in a in a, in a cuddly way. Uh, where have you been? Where have you been? I've been in a cell on my own. Oh my! Why were you in a cell? I don't know. Oh my god! I was just hanging out there. There was a whistle on the wall. There was a whistle on the wall. There was a whistle on the wall. And just nothingness forever. And then the, the floor got all hot. And then the ha- haiku came over and just repeatedly <laughs> fell into the lava <laughs> over and over. Just forever and ever. It seemed like it went on for an eternity <laughs> of just pain and suffering <laughs> for no reason. I don't know why. I, I don't I still don't understand what it <laughs> <laughs> I was I was just going to write down in my notes. Don't forget whistle and my pens run out. <laughs> well, that's never getting sorted. I haven't laughed this hard in so long. <laughs> and with that, we will end today's game. I'll well, write down whistle because genuinely my pen. Is I, I've written working. whistle down. Yeah. <laughs> That is the point at which we will end today's DND session. Thanks everybody for watching and you guys for playing. Uh, we have uh, reunited Oro and Nugget, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Off me a lot. I really fully had thought that Nugget just didn't come with us and was not thinking to look for Nugget in here somewhere else at all because we all appeared together. Mm-hmm. Mm. If that's we'd great. found out Nugget was still in there after we got out, I would have died. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye Grace but, I mean really bye, bye Grace yeah. yeah bye Grace yeah. Thale definitely thinks that Aura was just attacked by a giant bat for like no reason <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone else seemed to be cool with it <laughs> like, oh. so the bat came with Haiku Haiku is behind the bat <laughs> in fact when Nugget comes flying at Oro Nurley's like oh <laughs> <laughs> Okie kokie. Are you going to be brave and bold, Jenny? Oh, oh I bold. wasn't going to be until you brought it up. Uh, do I have <laughs> to be brave and bold? We've had so many. We've had so many dream disconnects today. That's, that's not. Oh. Okay. That doesn't impact lost... raids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of my list is uh, assuming satisfactory. Not D and D, obviously. Oh, I would pull the cable on my desk. You what on your desk? You I peed all over your desk. pulled a cable on my desk. Uh, <laughs> I thought you said you peed all over your desk. Yeah, that's exactly I heard peed as well. <laughs> I didn't do that. I feel like you <laughs> covered quickly with a, something about cables. <laughs> cables, I said cables, not pee. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys like accidentally like knock a pee on the floor, do you say things like you peed on the floor? Or is that just we our household? Peas. No. He's a great no. household. Oh, you hate peas, don't, don't you? Like, that's that's the wrong question. My dog snaffles it up before you can react. Yeah. <laughs> this is a like joke. Hey, frozen peas when it's warm. Bloody great. Oh, I love a frozen pea. Ugh. For the dog, I was... Oh. oh. I eat them. <laughs> <laughs> the only way my mom could get me to eat macaroni and cheese when I was a kid was by putting peas in it. I respect that. Is it opposite date? <laughs> How does it feel? I thought it was really good. Minority? Like macaroni and cheese, mm-hmm. like the powdered box stuff was just like really salty and not super flavorful, and the peas were like mellowed it out and gave it a nice like. Well, if you get, if you get them right, they like they like put they pop. You got a nice little mm. pop them. Yeah, yeah, it's a good texture. Mm-hmm. Penny, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I throw a handful of peas in there. So why not? Ooh. Uh, uh, this raid browser thing is good sometimes, then suddenly it'll refresh and just completely fuck up everything that I was looking at. Was yeah, I 
tried to use it once and it was too confusing and I just closed and continued scrolling through my follow list to see who I could find. I was like, nope, I don't I immediately don't know what this is and I don't want to try it. <laughs> okay, let's read uh Red Sage RPG. Oh, the stream okay. three and a half hours. It's too late, I've picked them. <laughs> All right, we're going. Pick them. They'll probably be there for ages, hopefully. Um uh okay. We'll see you next week. Question? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. We'll see you next yep. week when no uh, stream weird stuff will happen. It'll all be completely normal. We don't jinx things been. here. Huh? No. <laughs> we don't jinx things That's here. Just... <laughs> Definitely, as one of things says, players jink, jinx it. <laughs> jink. Right. A single jinx. Yeah. <laughs> Is that okay. what high jink? Never mind. I'm ending the stream. I'm ending it. Bye, everyone. <laughs> See ya.